In older buildings, you often see a common damage pattern. In the lower areas of the foundation walls, the paint peels or the plaster flakes off. Often, the damage is so severe that the joint work is damaged and the structural stability of the building is endangered. These typical damage patterns all have the same cause, rising damp or wicking moisture. As shown here in the graphic, this wall is lacking a horizontal barrier. The moisture is soaked up from the ground through capillary action, just like a sponge. The water transports minerals, including damaging salts, which are deposited in the wall and on the wall surface. In the areas where the moisture can evaporate, the damage is most visible. The salts crystallize on the surface and destroy the plaster and masonry. The inevitable consequences are flaking plaster, destruction of the mortar joints, reduced thermal insulation, destruction of the building fabric. Before the damaged wall is repaired, a thorough analysis is to be carried out by a professional. During the analysis, the salt and moisture content of the wall is measured and the actual cause and extent of the damage determined. Only a thorough damage analysis makes the determination of a professional repair concept possible. The repair of the wall begins with the placement of the horizontal barrier with Kirster Crissin 76. This method is also suitable for walls with high moisture levels and salt contents. By using the patented suction angle system, the horizontal barrier is reliably placed even where the wall has voids or cracks. First, the old, salt-damaged plaster is removed and the wall is cleaned of loose particles. Then the horizontal barrier is installed. The system consists of the following components. Kirster Crissin 76, a low viscosity thin liquid resin that penetrates the wall and makes it water impermeable and repellent. Kirster capillary rods for a pressureless injection distribution into the smallest capillary pores. Kirster suction angles. The Kirster Crissin 76 is applied using the suction angles. The fluid is only dispersed into the wall where the capillary rods have contact to the drill hole. The pressureless injection of the material prevents waste of the injection material and makes consumption of the material very easy to calculate. Due to the function of the suction angle, the holes are not drilled at an angle, but horizontally through the joint bed. The pressureless suction angle system uses the same capillary forces that cause wicking moisture. In this way, the waterproofing is installed into the finest capillary pores. The spacing of the drill holes is marked off. The spacing depends on the thickness of the wall. The thicker the wall, the shorter the distance between drill holes. The length of the drill hole also depends on the wall thickness. The hole is drilled 5 cm short of the other side. The hole is then cleaned with compressed air. The capillary rods are then measured and cut. The length is the depth of the drill hole plus 7 cm. The capillary rods are inserted together with the suction angles. They are pre-wetted so that they swell in the holes. The crissin cartridges are then placed on the suction angles. The crissin is transported over the capillary rods and absorbed by the wall. Little by little, the cartridges are emptied. Kirster Crissin 76 cannot be mixed with water, so it will not become diluted even in walls with high water concentrations. Kirster Crissin 76 is not an emulsion and will not clump up even when exposed to high salt concentrations. Besides this, it is less viscous than water, which enables it to penetrate into pores that even water cannot. Usually, the cartridges empty after 24 to 48 hours. The Kirster Crissin 76 horizontal barrier is now successfully installed. The wall already begins to dry out. The capillary rods are removed from the wall 
or alternatively, they can be cut short and left in the wall. The drill holes are plugged with the fast-curing mortar Kirster KB Fix 5. The Kirster Crisin 76 system is applicable independent of the water and salt content of the wall. It can't be diluted in water and will not rot. The Kirster suction angle system is simple and easy to install and, thanks to the pressureless injection, distributes the material evenly and without loss in voids or cracks. The wall is treated with Kirster Polysil TG500 along its base to solidify the masonry and lock in the salts. After the installation of the horizontal barrier is completed, the wall underneath it is waterproofed. The first step is to install a fillet and fill holes and joints with Kirster Repair Mortar. Kirster Repair Mortar is waterproof. Now the area waterproofing can be installed using the Kirster NB1 Grey Mineral Surface Coating. The horizontal barrier is now in place and the wall waterproofed. You can find all the important information in the system brochure Horizontal Barriers Against Rising Damp in Masonry. For further information, visit our website at www.kirster.eu.